Hello everyone. In this video, we will be talking about how to import your test questionnaire in Moodle. This involves the following steps. First, we have to prepare your TQ. So normally, our test questionnaires are saved in a Word document format. And then, after preparing our TQ, we have to convert it from the Word document format into a text file. And lastly, we will create an exam in Moodle using the quiz activity. Let's begin. So step one, let's prepare the TQ. Go ahead and open the file. As you can see, this is in a Word document format. So normally, this is how our test questionnaires appear. First, remove all the headers. Make sure that what remains are the questions. Okay, now, so we have removed the headers. So, this is done. So now let's go ahead and remove the numberings. Okay, now all the numbers have been removed. The next thing that we have to do is to remove the extra space between the margin and the choices. So, for example, this one, just click delete. And then this one. And make sure that the choices are aligned. So it must be like this. Press enter. And delete. Press enter, delete, press enter. Do this to all your items. Now that we are done with the numberings, let us go back to the first item. And in between the last option and the next question, let us put one more space. Just press enter. So directly under the last choice, which is letter D, we will type the word answer in capital letters followed by a colon and one space. After the space, input the letter of the correct answer. Okay, so in this case, the correct answer is letter B. So just have to put B here. Do this to the other items. Now, once you're done putting the correct answers, let us go back and check the questions. Make sure that there are no spaces in the question. So for this example, we will just delete all the space, delete all the space, and we can separate all of this with a semicolon. So we have an error here. So there should be an S here. And of course, do not forget to end your question with a question mark. All right. Now, so this looks good and this will be accepted. So what about this question? So this question has an all of the above option. However, once this is already imported in Moodle, the options will be shuffled. So there is a tendency that this option will appear first. So all you have to do now is to change this word into so now we have all of the choices so even if this option will appear first we'll still be okay all right let's continue so we're done with removing the numberings we're done with adding the correct answers now it's time to remove the apostrophes so why is this important it's because the import will result into an error if there will be apostrophes in your question and in your options. All right. So as you can see, we have an apostrophe here. We have a quotation here. Usually, there's a lot of apostrophes in the test questionnaire. So how can you locate them easily? All you have to do is to use the search function of Microsoft Word. So you can just put here 
you can type here an apostrophe. Then press enter. Then once you press enter, you can see all of the apostrophes. All you have to do is to delete each one of them and then scroll to the next one here. So delete. So do not worry. You can add this one later once these are inside the Moodle. Okay? So it is important that you delete all of them to avoid errors. Okay, what about the quotation? Let us remove also. Remove. Then let's go to the next one. Remove. So none left. That means we have deleted all of the apostrophes and the quotations. All right. So this one here is done. Additionally, avoid using the ampersand and avoid using this symbol, which is the degree symbol. Okay. Again, you can always add them later after the import process. So now we're done preparing the TQ. So what's next? Let us go back to the steps. So the next thing that we have to do is to convert our TQ from Word document into a text file. So Moodle will not accept a Word document format. So all we have to do is to click Save Us, and then choose the location where you want the file to be saved. And then in the file format, choose plain text. Okay, so you have to choose plain text format. And then after that, click Save. So once you click Save, a warning dialog box will appear. So all you have to do is to click OK. So then let's close it. And then it should be here in the desktop since we save it in the desktop. Take note that the file must have .txt extension. Okay, that means that it's a text file. So in Windows, this will normally be opened using the notepad. So let's click it and let's check. It should appear like this. So we have removed all the apostrophes. We have already entered the correct answers. So our file is now ready for import. Okay, now let's proceed to the next step, the last step which is to create an exam using the quiz activity in Moodle. So now let's open Moodle and click the course. And go to the tile where you want to put the exam. Okay, so in this case, I will put it in prelim week four. So all you have to do is to click add an activity and choose quiz. Okay, so once I click the quiz, we will be directed to the settings. And then here, we will write prelim exam. This course has two sessions per week from 16.30 to 18.01. All right, so let's go to timing. Click enable. So assuming that we will start the exam on 8th of October, that is a Thursday. And then start of the class hours will be 1630 and also do not forget to enable the time and date when the exam will be closed so again 8 October and then as per class schedule 1801 all right so now do not forget to also tick this one which is the time limit of the examination so for a 50 item test we will put 45 minutes so we're done with the timing. Let's go to grade. Now, as per grading system, the passing rate is 50%. So for a 50 item test, the passing will be 25. And in here for attempts allowed, let's put to one. And then let's proceed to the next part, which is the layout. So ideally for a new page, we will just display one question. So just choose every question. And then for the question behavior, choose yes for shuffle within questions. For the question behavior, choose deferred feedback. For the review options, you can choose whether or not the correct answers will be displayed. So in my case, I don't want them to see the correct answers after taking the exam. So just untick this one. 
untick this one, untick this one. Next, click Save and Display. So once you click Save and Display, you will be directed to the quiz page. So as you can see, we have not added any questions yet. So now, all we have to do is to go and click the gear icon, and then click Question Category. Okay, so, so since the parent category available is only the prelim quizzes, so we will make a parent category for the examinations. So all we have to do is to click this drop down box and choose top. So if you click this one, it means to say that the category that you're about to make is a parent category. So click top and then for the name, let's write major exam. And then just click Add Category. Okay, now you can see here the major exam parent category is already available. Next, let us make the category for prelim exam. Okay, so for parent category, let us choose the category that we just created, which is major exam. And then let's write prelim exam. Then just click Add. And there you have it, the prelim exam under the major exam category. Now, since we're done creating the parent category, so let's go ahead and click Import tab. Click Import. And for the file format, we will choose ICANN format since we have an MCQ test. Now, do not forget to expand General. Okay, so in General, this is where we will choose the category of the questions. So in import category, click the drop down box and choose the category that we have created earlier, which is prelim exam. So do not change this one. Do not change stop on error. It should be yes. So that if there are errors in importing, the operation will automatically be stopped. Now let us proceed to import questions from file. So all you have to do is to click choose a file and in the file picker click choose file and look for the TQ that we have prepared in text format. So here click that one and click open. Next click upload this file. Next click import. If these messages are in green, that means there are no errors and that the import has been successful. So we have here, we have imported 50 questions from file. The next thing that you will do is to click continue. Now there you go. We will automatically be directed to the questions tab and the category here is the one that we created, prelim exam. Now let's go back to the prelim exam that we have created. Okay, here, let's click this one. So as you can see, no questions have been added yet. Click Edit Quiz. So in here, you have to click Add, then choose from Question Bank. All right, so in this dialog box, click the drop down and click the category that we created, which is prelim exam. So as you can see, the category has 50 questions. All right. So these are the questions that we will be importing. So just click this one, tick this one, and all of them will be selected. And then click add selected questions to the quiz. There you have it. All our questions are imported already. So the total marks for this exam is 50 points. So do not forget to change the maximum grade here. Change it to 50 and click Save. To reduce the tendency of cheating, it is highly advisable to click Shuffle. So the questions will be shuffled and then that's it. So let's go back to the prelim exam page and do not forget to always Click Preview Quiz Now to check 
whether there are errors or not. And also, this time we can already add the apostrophes that we have deleted earlier. So all you have to do is to click the gear icon, click Edit Quiz, and then so for example, let's, let's check the original file. We have here number 27 has an apostrophe or a quotation. So let us go ahead and, and check item number 27. So here. So all you have to do if you want to edit a question, just have to click the gear icon. Okay. In here, we can edit the question in question text. So all you have to do is to add the missing apostrophe or quotation and then just click Save Changes. There you have it. So do not forget to always preview the exam to ensure that there are no errors or there are no missing choices. That's it.